What's up guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Tuesday, February 9th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, let's take a look at the point guard position. I like DeJounte Murray from the San Antonio Spurs playing the Golden State Warriors who have the 12th worst defense overall and their middle of the pack defending opposing point guards. DeJounte Murray has averaged 34.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 31 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. He scored 65, 24, and 42 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 36, 32, and 30 minutes. He's projected at 34.4 fantasy points here tonight that's 5.1 times value he's 6800 FanDuel salary and 300 less on DraftKings Vegas thinks there's going to be 232.5 points scored in this game and DeJounte Murray has scored 65 40 and 36 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Golden State Warriors so I like DeJounte Murray here versus the Golden State Warriors. Another point guard that I like is Cole Anthony from the Orlando Magic playing the Portland Trailblazers who have the fifth worst defense overall and they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Cole Anthony has averaged 24 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 27 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate. He scored 32, 37, and 26 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 29, 32, and 30 minutes. He's projected at 25.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.7 times value. He's 5,400 FanDuel salary and 500 more on DraftKings. So I like that FanDuel price. Now we know Vegas thinks this is going to be a high scoring game, 233.5 points scored in this game. It's a fast paced game. It's a great matchup. I think he can score 30 fantasy points or more in this one and get you five times value or more. Probably a fan duel play for me, but I like Cole Anthony here versus the Portland Trailblazers. Okay, now here's a DraftKings play for you. I like Shake Milton from the Philadelphia 76ers playing the Sacramento Kings who have the absolute worst defense overall and they give up the six most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Shake Milton has averaged 22.3 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 24 minutes per game with a 24% usage rate. He scored 24, 18, and 20 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 26, 24, and 18 minutes. Now he's projected at 21 fantasy points here tonight and on FanDuel that's 4.4 times value because he's 4,800 FanDuel salary but he's 500 less on DraftKings. So I love that DraftKings price. Vegas thinks there's going to be 232 points scored in this game so I like Shake Milton here versus the Sacramento Kings. Okay let's take a look at the shooting guard position. Now, because Mike Conley is out, I like Jordan Clarkson from the Utah Jazz playing the Boston Celtics, who have a good defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing shooting guards, but Jordan Clarkson has averaged 27.1 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 25 minutes per game with a 28% usage rate. He scored 23, 25, and 27 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 30, 23, and 24 minutes. He's projected at 26.9 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.4 times value. He's 5,000 FanDuel salary, 
but he is 1,000 more on DraftKings. So this is a fan duel play for me, but I like Jordan Clarkson here versus the Boston Celtics. Now again, because Mike Conley is out, these, these guys are gonna get extra minutes and extra usage. So I like Donovan Mitchell from the Utah Jazz playing the Boston Celtics. Donovan Mitchell has averaged 36.4 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 31% usage rate. He scored 52, 40, and 34 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 38, 33, and 31 minutes. He's projected at 36.6 fantasy points here tonight. But you know what, guys? Because Mike Conley is out, Donovan Mitchell is going to be the benefactor or the beneficiary or whatever. He's going to get more usage and more minutes. So I think he can get 40 plus fantasy points here in this matchup and get you five times value or more. He's 8,000 FanDuel uh, salary and 100 more on DraftKings. So I like Donovan Mitchell here versus the Boston Celtics. Okay, let's take a look. Well, we're still on the shooting guard position. My son is banging on the door. Hard to concentrate here, but we're back here. So I like Josh Jackson from the Detroit Pistons playing the Brooklyn Nets, who have the fourth worst defense overall, and they, they're pretty good versus opposing shooting guards. Josh Jackson has averaged 22.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 24 minutes per game, with a 26% usage rate. He just won't give it up, guys. Still knocking on the door. Okay, so he scored 47, 23, and 35 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 37, 24, and 29 minutes. He's projected at 24.4 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.4 times value. He's 5,500 FanDuel salary and 200 more on DraftKings. So Vegas thinks this is going to be a high scoring game, 233 points scored in this game. You can see that Josh Jackson, he's got kind of a low floor, but he's got a huge ceiling. And even if he scores just his average fantasy points, let's say he gets that low score of 23, he's not going to absolutely kill your lineup, but he's got that big upside with that 35 to 40 plus fantasy points. And he played 37 minutes last game. So I like Josh Jackson here versus the Brooklyn Nets. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like Jeremiah Grant from the Detroit Pistons playing the Brooklyn Nets, who have the fourth worst defense overall, and they've been pretty good versus opposing small forwards, but Jeremiah Grant has averaged 39.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 36 minutes per game with a 26% usage rate. He scored 54, 27, and 46 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 47, 32, and 38 minutes. He's projected at 40 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's 7,800 FanDuel salary, and he's 800 less on DraftKings. So I love that DraftKings price. So we got a super high scoring game here. Jeremiah Grant, he's been heating up over 45 fantasy points in two out of his last three games. So he's got a good shot here to crush value, especially on DraftKings. So I like Jeremiah Grant here versus the Brooklyn Nets. Okay, another small forward that I like, especially on DraftKings, is Kelly Oubre Jr. from the Golden State Warriors playing the San Antonio Spurs, who have the 10th worst defense overall, 
and they give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. Kelly Oubre Jr. has averaged 26.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. He scored 34, 21, and 57 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 35, 32, and 36 minutes. Now, he's only projected at 28.1 fantasy points here tonight, and on FanDuel, that's only 4.2 times value because he's 6,700 FanDuel salary, but he's 500 less on DraftKings. So I love that DraftKings price. So you can see this guy's got a low floor, around 20 fantasy points is gonna be your low score, but he can get you 35 to 50 fantasy points and crush value. And I think it's a good matchup here. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 232.5 points scored in this game. And let's take a look at his last five games versus the Spurs. He scored 34, 36, 45, 27, and 30 fantasy points in his last five games versus the San Antonio Spurs. So that's excellent player versus team history. So I love this DraftKings play here. So I like Kelly Oubre Jr. here versus the San Antonio Spurs. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. There really wasn't much value that I could find as of right now at the power forward position. So I'm gonna give you a couple of studs here. We've, we've picked a lot of value plays and mid-range plays so far in this video. So I think you should spend up at the power forward position. So I like Jason Tatum from the Boston Celtics playing the Utah Jazz, who have a good defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing power forwards, but Jason Tatum has averaged 44.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 36 minutes per game with a 32% usage rate. He scored 41, 55, and 55 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 35, 40, and 38 minutes. He's projected at 46.5 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.8 times value. He's 9,700 FanDuel salary, and 500 less on DraftKings. So Vegas thinks there's gonna be 220.5 points scored in this game. So I like Jason Tatum here versus the Utah Jazz. The other power forward that I like is Zion Williamson from the New Orleans Pelicans playing the Houston Rockets, who have a middle of the pack defense overall. And although they've been pretty good versus opposing power forwards, Zion Williamson has averaged 39.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 28% usage rate. He scored 45, 36, and 48 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 33, 31, and 32 minutes. He's projected at 38.3 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.6 times value. He's 8,400 FanDuel salary and 200 less on DraftKings. Now he scored 39 and 38 fantasy points in his last two games versus the Houston Rockets. You're gonna want about 42 to 45 fantasy points here for him to get you five times value or more. I think he can get it done. So I like Zion Williamson here versus the Houston Rockets. Okay, moving on to the center position. I like Nikolai Vucevic from the Orlando Magic playing the Portland Trailblazers, who have the fifth worst defense overall, and they give up the 11th most fantasy points to opposing centers. Nikolai Vucevic has averaged 45 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 29% usage rate. He scored 34, 74, and 47 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 24, 37, and 37 minutes. He's projected at 44.7 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's 8,700 FanDuel salary and 200 more on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 233.5 points scored in this game. And Vucevic has scored 48, 63, 45, 48, and 47 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Portland Trailblazers. 
excellent player versus team history. That's why I'm bringing you this pick. So I like Nikolai Vucevic here versus the Portland Trailblazers. Another center that I like is Mason Plumlee from the Detroit Pistons playing the Brooklyn Nets who have the fourth worst defense overall and they give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing centers. Mason Plumlee has averaged 27.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 27 minutes per game with a 16% usage rate. He scored 41, 21, and 40 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 47, 24, and 28 minutes. Now, this is not a back-to-back, -back, so you don't have to worry about that 47-minute game that he played last game. He's projected at 28 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.9 times value. He's 5,700 FanDuel salary and 100 more on DraftKings. So this is a great matchup. We know Vegas thinks this is going to be a high-scoring game. 233 points scored in this game. So I think it's a nice game uh, to, to stack. So I like Mason Plumlee here versus the Brooklyn Nets. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.